what's up guys and welcome back to another video right onto my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to uh, fix an issue if you have crashing or freezing in saints row so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will probably know what to do in order to fix this issue the first step is gonna be to subscribe to my channel no i'm joking guys so just want you to know is uh that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like or a comment uh, or a subscription right onto my channel. It'll really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as I am Especially subscribing would be a big support for me I mean, it's free for you guys and you will support my work here on YouTube a little bit and I would just say I'm gonna thank you for that and let's get right started So the first step in order to fix this issue is gonna be to open up your task manager by using the shortcut or going down to your taskbar right clicking it and opening up your task manager once your task manager opens up, I want you to go to the navigate to the top left corner of your screen, clicking on the processes. And afterwards, I want you to click one of those processes and type in S searching for Saints Row. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, you're gonna basically just right click the task and uh, click on end task. So um, once you did that, um, I mean, it's gonna sound a little bit weird, but uh, trust me guys, I want you to basically end every single task. Why I'm saying that, I'm just gonna explain it to you. So um, there are two reasons for that. The first one is that if you have a low-end PC or a bad PC, it could happen that um, too many programs or application progresses, whatever, opened at the same time, running at the same time, are causing freezes, uh, freezes or crashes because yeah, your PC can't really handle that because it's too old or too outdated. And the other reason is, uh, that was it for me, that are, don't ask me why, there are programs which are third parting your game, causing it to crash or to freeze. And uh, when you just end in every single task, you're just avoiding this issue. So trust me guys and do it. Once you finished here, I want you to close the task manager and the next step is gonna be to search an empty spot right onto your monitor. You're gonna right click it and uh, click right onto display settings. So once you're at your display settings, I want you to stick around display. And as the first step, I want you to identify what your main monitor is. So this just also suits if you have more than one monitor. If you don't have more than one monitor, you already uh, have checked it, right? So uh, once you identified your monitor, I want you to go down to scale and layout. We're gonna stick to change the size of text apps and other items and change it to 100% as recommended. And the display resolution should be the, game is in ga uh, the same as in-game. So for example, if you're using in-game 7020 by 1070, I want you to use the same on your display resolution. Once you finish G, you're gonna close this tab and navigate right to the bottom left corner of your screen, opening up your settings. So once you opened up your settings, I want you to navigate right onto update and security and stick around Windows Update. I know guys, this is gonna sound a little bit basic, but trust me, it will help you a lot, especially especially with crashes or freezes um, in uh, Saints Row, because you're gonna basically download the latest version of Windows uh, in order to provide the best possible performance for your PC. And uh, this will help you a lot with uh, crashes or freezes. And uh, as you can see, I also need to do that. So after this video, I'm gonna straight uh, download the latest version of Windows. So once you finish here, you can close this tab and do the same thing for your graphics card. So you're gonna basically download uh, the latest version of your graphics card, doesn't matter if you have AMD or Nvidia, just go to the application and download it because you're providing the best possible performance for your PC in general um, when you're downloaded the last version. So yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription. I'm gonna really thank you for that, but I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just gonna do my best in order to help you out. And uh, either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.